Oops. Greetings, traveler. What would you like? Uh, tell me about yourself, Hassan. My name is Hassan, and I sell the most wonderful fresh delicacies in the city. Finger food, roasted nuts, tea, both warm and cooled, belly dancing biscuits, aromatic giggle juice, I have it all. Not much longer, of course, since it's impossible to make a living these days. So enjoy my specialities while you can. Yeah, this is still ruled by Urs, and they just don't think it is. Too many people do not appreciate the wonders of tea. Known it only as a tedious beverage consisting of mildly warm water poured over leaves that may as well be chips of wood. Thus, they are never exposed to the many varieties of taste that tea has to offer. The spicy, the hot, the cool, the gentle, the invigorating. A whole universe of experience lost to incorrect preparation. That's actually... Hold on a sec while I uh, sit down properly. Mm. That's actually really true. Um, I spent some time in China recently, and the tea there can be amazing. And there really are just an incredible variety of types. You can also smoke tea, which is interesting, because it concentrates the flavor a little bit. Instead of, uh, Instead of drinking it slowly and diffusing it, you just take it. Um, the orally is still the same. I don't know the word for it. Airily? Specialities. Um, specialities like mine are a luxury, a sign of civilization and comfort. When people are constantly afraid for their future, they have no time for belly dancing biscuits and mysterious mints. They would rather spend what little they have on boring staple foods. I can't blame them. Though, I mean, I worry about my future and I partake in luxuries. So, tell me about Sadaka. There is no city quite like it. Then again, I suppose that is true of all cities. But I quite like living in this one. At least when we're not suffering. When things are good, there is nothing quite like the elaborate, yet earthy elegance of Sataka in the spring. What about finger food? Ah, that's the one thing I'm out of. Sorry. Would you like uh, the recipe instead? It's not like I need to keep it a secret. I'll be out of business sooner or later anyway. What a bad way to think. Recipe scroll updated. This guy! Can I interest you in some spices? You are a spice merchant. The most important ability for a spice merchant is to be able to suppress one's sneezes. <laughs> Many a great career has been ended by an untimely sneeze. Almat Haun of Vlakia almost lost his life when he sneezed while handling flammable fennel, you know. Oh god. Fancy spice. Nabil. I am a master of the art of taste and smell, of finding and preparing the ingredients that create pleasure. I seek, I discover, I experiment. I explore the delight of purity and the revelation of complexity. I crawl down the t I crawl down the secret corridors of flavor and climb the highest mountains of olfaction. He's humble too. The smell of the day is everything. I believe we live in a world full of wonders and the greatest blasphemy is to not enjoy them. It, the greatest blasphemy is not to enjoy them. I don't like that. That's kind of open to misinterpretation. Because what he just said is that to enjoy the wonders of the world is not the greatest blasphemy. Not that the greatest blasphemy is to not enjoy the wonders of the world. Anyway, to live the life of the ascetic, ascetic, aesthetic, ascetic, ascetic, I don't know, is to reject the beauty of creation. To appreciate the manifold graces of taste and smell is to worship the divinity of the world. Tell me about the Fortunate Isles. I've traveled far and wide in the Fortunate Isles seeking spices, and I have found that each isle has its own beauty. This is where I was born and where I choose to live, but I do not think I would be unhappy if I were to move to Aftonia. Port Dara is colder than what I'm used to, but it is not without charm. 
crisis. Sometimes it seems like the only spice I sell anymore is salt. Gazira Island. Gazira Island is just off the coast of the Isle of the Stars. It's completely empty, but I know that alchemists sometimes go there to collect rare ingredients. I might need to. Bacteriolytic Baharat. Bacteriolytic Baharat, you say? Of course I have that. What kind of spice merchant would I be if I did not? I will trade it to you for your assistance in a delicate matter. Yes? Well, you see, Ajlal, she is one of the guards. She has been stopping by my stall many times. Always so aggressive. At first I was frightened of her, but now I do not know. But perhaps we are suited for one another. She is strong, and I... Well, I would like to ask her whether she would like to meet me one day to talk about uh, spices. Hey, I see what you mean. You are Ashlal, right? No, you are Mukhtar. Where is Ashlal? Are you Ashlal? No, you're not him. You're Ashlal. You should meet with Nabil. Hmm. Took him long enough to notice. Yes, we can meet. I uh, like that. Oh my god. They're so shy. It's adorable. Who would think lizards in middle school? She said yes. There's my Baharat. Excellent. What am I going to cook? Your mother. I honestly don't know what I'm going to cook. Uh, I'm running low on time, Bo. Omar Orkbasher. What? Why your name? I spent several years in the lands around Erebor, <laughs> becoming good friends with the masters of stone. One day I helped them crush their sworn enemies, the orcs, in the most vicious game of cricket the world has ever seen. Thus, I was given the title Orc Basher, which I bear with great pride. Man, that movie's coming out too. That's a good trilogy. Cloth. I sell various kinds of cloth. It is not a bad trade, especially since people will still buy cloth, even when times are bad. But to be honest, I have no special admiration for my profession. It is, as they say, a job. Moving? I've been thinking about moving, but I don't know where to. Arda isn't what it used to be, what with all the tourists. And I suppose I am lucky to be making a living, but it is hard to imagine a future here. Then again, I've been saying that for years. And there is a reason I came back in the first place. It's hard to let go of your roots. What do you think of Lord Urizen? I wonder how we allowed things to get so bad in the first place. When the Isle of the Stars was at its greatest, when its culture was respected all over the world, a man like Lord Urizen could not touch us. Was it people like me who would rather travel than fix the problems like home? Or was it the people who prefer not to travel and never understand the world enough to know what's happening? At home. The token. Oh, that thing. Yes, I remember buying that. Had a nice conversation with the dwarf who sold it to me too. Unfortunately, I no longer have the token to m token myself. I gave it to Salim, one of the philosophers here in the city. He's interested in historical artifacts. Fantastic. More merchants. Mm. Oh, hello, Kalvida. I sit here, I sell my carpets, read my books, and observe. You see a lot of things when people think you're not looking. You see how the guards march around like they own the place, but also how they get scared sometimes and look around like a child that knows it's done something wrong. You notice that sometimes people in the street just stop and collect themselves, taking a deep breath to avoid getting angry. You notice not everything is as it should be. I notice that walking around and talking to people. What about carpets? You would like a new carpet? Excellent. Yes, I would. I forgot about that. I have the best carpets in the city. I'll give you a beautiful carpet, traditionally handwoven, not one of those awful things they mass produce on the mainland. As you probably know, they're quite expensive, so I'll trade it for something of equal value. I want you to solve a murder. Yeah, that's that's important. Okay. Yes, you heard that right. Asim's son Hashim was found stabbed outside the city gate a few weeks ago, and no murderer has been discovered. People think I just sit here and read books, but I notice things. I'm certain that something fishy is going on. Yeah, he was stabbed to death. Besides, poor Asim has been completely broken by this, and maybe finding some answers will help him. Hmm. What do you think about Sadaka? It's home. 
but I think it needs to be better than it is. That, I think, is a common sentiment everywhere. Murder. Poor Rasim. He lost his wife two years ago, and now his son. No one should have to go through that. No wonder he does nothing but sit there and fish all day. Oh, he's that guy. Well, I'm gonna go talk to him. Asim Murder. They tell me he was found in the desert near the gate. I don't know what he was doing there. I don't even know if it's true. You can't trust them, you know. They say they're safeguarding the revolution, but I don't think anyone feels safe. Hmm. Well, let's continue east. Okay, I think it's east. What's so this? A door! This is the home of Omar, a famed poet. He lives frugally and speaks to few when he is writing. It's this way. People. Person. I've got to adjust again. Oh gosh. Hopefully, this will last me to the end. Unfortunately, I have to kind of contort to be in a good place for the microphone to pick me up. Rashad! I'm a mathematician, though I dabble in other fields too. I like to sit here and debate with my friend Salim. Frankly, there is not much more to do, since the kind of work I do is no longer appreciated. What can we learn from abstract mathematics, they say? As much as we may learn from all the sciences, though perhaps not always as directly. That's true. Mathematics, a poet once said, is the poetry of God. The perfectly sculpted elegance that underlies every fiber of reality. Sadly, this statement only provoked a long and tedious discussion about whether the word mathematics is a singular or a plural. It's a singular, of course, like biology. And nowadays, fashionable poets and pseudo-philosophers sponsored by Urizen misapply the language of mathematics to prove their demented logic. I'm going to ask you about Stavros of Athonia, despite not knowing... Oh no, that's uh, the tree guy, right? Have you met Stavros? A great thinker, and a very likable person. Have you read his exchange of letters with Hypatia? Two great minds struggling with great ideas. It left me in awe of both of them. Murder. I saw the guards bring the body into the city. They did not seem very bothered by his death. Perhaps that is simply because they are more hardened than most, but uh, perhaps not. Good day, traveler. Hello, Salim. I am Salim, a student of philosophy and the sciences. I am a child of Saraka, but I believe that wisdom may be found everywhere, or at least wherever there are those who think, who question, and who believe in the importance of knowledge. I agree. Wherever there is thought, there is hope. A crisis such as this can only be produced in two ways, a natural disaster or an error in thinking. Clearly, the latter is the case in our present situation. We trusted too much in the stories of our leaders, believed too much in the triumph of the self and not enough in kindness. Ironically, we are left with no freedom for the self and nothing but kindness to keep us from harm. Tell me about Sadaka. There is an equally important... There is... Uh, where did I get equally? There is an important lesson to be learned from our city, so precariously balanced between the desert and the sea. The world is beautiful, but much of it is also deadly, and it is only in the smallest of margins that life and civilization may come to be. If we upset the balance, we may risk destroying ourselves. The greatest of all mysteries, in my opinion, is why mosquitoes fly around one ears in the morning, buzzing and waking one up. What purpose can be served by this behavior? Clearly sending their victims into a killing frenzy is of no advantage to them, and there are many other places they may draw blood. So why this infernal buzzing around the ears? No explanation I have heard has been convincing, save that for that they are agents of evil, and created only for the purpose of causing outrage and irritation. Token. The token you seek was unfortunately taken from me by one of the guards, Fod. They are less friendly these days. Less than friendly. Murder. I saw Hashim walk into the desert as the sun was setting, carrying a small bag of what I presume were supplies. Such a shame he had a promising mind. So one of the guards took 
a token. Fad. I don't think that was the name of any that I talked to already. So I'm afraid we're going to have to stop here. And next time, we'll hopefully find the token and maybe even make some of those potions that are very complicated. I love this music. I say that every episode, but I love this music. Well, come back next time for more The Sea Will Claim Everything.